Florida Congressman Greg Stubbe joins us now. Congressman, thank you so much for joining us. You were yeah, at the you. weaponization hearing, hearing these explosive allegations firsthand. What did you make of all the testimony? Well, the testimony was powerful in the sense that you had three whistleblowers saying exactly what we've all been suspecting that the FBI and the DOJ have been doing for the last several years, targeting conservatives. And then the moment someone like them speaks up, and says, hey, we shouldn't be using the SWAT team to go after an 80-year-old who's cooperating with us as it relates to January 6th, and they raise these concerns and do everything that the FBI has told them procedurally they should do, three levels of supervisors for Mr. Friend, uh, to make whistleblower status, then they just shun them, take away the security clearances, take away their ability to get access to their household goods when they were moving, um, and, and they go after them, despite the fact that Director Ray and the Attorney General of the United States said that they weren't going to retaliate against whistleblowers. But those three gentlemen's testimony is that's exactly what they were doing. And what's really frightening is how they've also weaponized the IRS. Uh, the Biden's DOJ instructed the, the IRS to remove the entire team investigating his son Hunter for tax fraud over the millions he received in foreign deals. This, of course, according to a letter sent to Congress from the IRS whistleblowers' lawyers before being removed from the case. I mean, that whistleblower claimed political interference in the case from Biden's DOJ and Merrick Garland himself, the whistleblower's attorney, stating, quote, removing the experienced investigators who have worked this case for years and are now the subject matter experts is exactly the sort of issue our client intended to blow the whistle on to begin with. Uh, you, you, sir, you were the former acting attorney, uh, congressman, excuse me, hearing these kind of stunning allegations uh, to say that Biden was weaponizing and using the DOJ, using the IRS, what goes through your mind? Yeah, and these are all the things that are factually happening based on evidence from these different whistleblowers. Uh, I also sit on the Ways and Means Committee that is, the chairman got the letter from that attorney last week and I can guarantee you that that committee is going to get to the bottom of uh, those allegations. And if true, again, the IRS commissioner, commissioner stated on the record, the chairman asked him just a few weeks ago, are you going to retaliate against whistleblowers? They said, absolutely not. We will follow the law. And that's absolutely what's happening. Uh, so you have instances where Biden officials at cabinet level appointed positions are lying to Congress to cover for the actions of this administration. And the House, thank God, we're, we have the Republican majority and we can hold these people accountable for lying to Congress. I mean, you have a lot of people that say, look, you had Trump, he was raided. This one's raided, that one's raided. And we're still waiting around to hear if anything comes of the federal investigation into Hunter Biden. It goes back, what, what now, almost seven years? So why, did, yeah. why is this, I know this is a huge question, but why is there this blatant two-tier justice system, one for conservatives and one for everyone else? Well, we have a two-tiered system because the DOJ and the FBI have become the enforcement arm of the Democratic Party and completely and utterly politicized. And this goes back to the time when Trump was even running for office. And they were using the FISA system and our intelligence system to surveil on the Trump campaign under a guise of Hillary Clinton's Russia collusion hoax that went on for years and years and years. And we now know that all of that was false, that the mainstream media peddled that fraud on the American people. And now the American people are starting to see how deep the level of corruption is in the FBI and the DOJ for years now this has been going on. I mean, you would hear Donald Trump, former President Trump, he constantly talked about the corruption and just how deep the state is, a deep state, deep, deep, and how he wanted to drain that swamp. And so many things he's been saying have been coming true. So hopefully more truths will, will come out. And thank you so much, Congressman, for your courage on speaking out for the truth. And thank you for being with us this evening. Anytime. Thanks for having me. All right, John Durham, he gives us 